How's it going everybody? You're watching Denable Tech and today I'm going to teach you something truly amazing, which is how to clear a ton of your iPhone storage by just doing one thing, which is deleting the other category in your iPhone storage management. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'm going to teach you right now. So uh, if you're running low on, on storage, if you're getting those annoying pop-ups saying that your iPhone storage is low, you should go to settings and then you should go to general and then you should go to iPhone iPhone storage right here and check your iPhone storage so it's gonna show you via, via uh, like it's gonna separate the category show you this little graph and everything like that so then um, what you should probably do is scroll all the way down all the way to the bottom and check for the other category right here so as you can see on mine it only takes up 2.62 gigs but that's because this iPhone is pretty much brand new and um, the longer you have an iPhone the bigger that other category is gonna take up and it can take up tons of gigs like 10 20 even 30 gigs of storage just on the other category right there and the thing is that there's not an easy way an automatic way that you can actually go ahead and like all the other categories right right here tap and delete you just can't do it on the other other category as you guys can see if you tap on it it's just going to show you some information but it's not going to let you delete it so how do you do that how to get rid of it and how can you actually just be a game changer to your iPhone. It's very, very easy. All you have to do is go back, is right here under your settings. So go to general again, and then scroll all the way down to reset, tap on reset, and then we're gonna need to re erase all content and settings. But wait, you have to pay attention, this is very important, and don't skip any of this, because this is very, very important right now. As you can imagine, erase all content and settings will literally delete everything that you have on your iPhone every single file that you have including photos apps everything so your iphone is going to be like brand new with no information so of course you may ask me uh how would i want to do that if i'm going to lose everything but don't worry because we can recover pretty much everything and still delete that annoying other category let me show you how so before we do that you're going to need to come back here come back to the first screen okay and then we're gonna go to the Apple ID banner right there at the top and then go to iCloud and then here's the trick because uh, you don't want to do a backup you don't want to do an iCloud backup because if you perform a backup and then you erase everything and then recover from a backup you're gonna get all that other category back that other category all those files they go with the backup so we don't want to do it what you want to do is come to this screen right here that i'm showing and enable every single thing that you're seeing because if you enable all of this we're gonna you're gonna be able to recover all of those files without recovering the other so we're gonna get rid of that other category but we're gonna recover all our photos mail contact calendars everything that you're seeing here we're gonna recover okay so all your applications uh, every single file within the applications, everything is going to be saved to iCloud, as you're seeing here, is going to be saved to iCloud, but without a backup. This is saved independently from a backup, and that's the very, very important thing. Okay, uh, regarding WhatsApp, it's very important that not only you have this on, but you go to the WhatsApp application and make sure you perform a backup manually there as well. Otherwise, you're going to lose your WhatsApp info. Okay, so after you have everything turned on, including photos, please include your iCloud photos, make sure you have iCloud photos is on so you don't lose any photos okay so make sure that you have everything here turned on and then we can come back here and finally reset our iPhone and then get rid of that other category this is a little bit of a pain to do this to go ahead and manually select and make sure everything is turned on and then after we perform this we're gonna have to download manually all of our apps again don't worry if you have any apps that are paid uh, if you have purchased any apps because we can recover them just re-download them you don't need to repay for anything so uh, you don't need to, to spend any extra money it's just a little bit of a pain to do that manually but trust me that's the only way to do it and if you need to clear storage if you need to clear your other category this is going to stay save your life pretty much this is going to be a game changer to you all right and that's the only way to do it so then we're going to go ahead and erase all content and settings because of course i'm going to show you this step by step all right then we're going to go to erase now we don't need to backup again if you perform a backup 
we're gonna back up the other information again okay so erase now then put our passcode yes my passcode is huge uh, hit done then erase iphone is gonna tell you that we're gonna lose every single thing and na, 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 na. we know that you paid attention to everything i said and apple is just uh re, re saying what i just said all right now put your apple id of course you need to know your apple id to reset and then later to put your apple id and recover all those those files and all that data that i showed you just a few seconds ago so please you have to know your apple id and your password and then hit erase and as you guys can see it's just going to automatically start and it's going to reboot right now as you guys can see and then it's just a matter of waiting okay uh, please make sure that you have enough battery if you don't if you're running low on battery make sure to do this process w while it's plugged in to a power outlet just to make sure your iphone don't die while you're doing this depending on your iphone model this process can take a few minutes like five or ten minutes if it's a newer iphone uh it's gonna be much faster okay so after some like three to five minutes my iphone is back and is now giving me that hello screen for the first setup as i mentioned that's gonna happen so then all you have to do is just start setting it up and it's very important that you do exactly as i'm doing so select your language select your country and then uh, select setup manually all right then select your wi-fi network or of course you can select 4g if you want to i'm gonna go with cellular uh, connection um and then it may take it may take a few minutes to activate your iphone just wait then data and privacy just continue um okay accept this face id i'm gonna set up it later just so i so we don't waste time okay so set up later but of course you can set it up right now uh create a passcode now this is one of the most important parts okay so apps and data choose how you want to transfer apps and data to this iphone you don't want to transfer apps and data again we don't want to transfer from backups or anything like that so don't transfer so then we don't get that other category back again taking up a ton of our storage we're gonna do this right now so put our apple id and then recover everything that we saw on that first screen showing all the data we had in the cloud so that's how we're gonna get it back so now put your apple id and then hit next of course and then wait while it's gonna set it up of course you may have a verification code if you have a two-step verification enabled uh in your account which i do of course so just put the code which mine is gonna be that one don't try to do anything like funny because uh this is a one-time code all right so don't even try to be funny guys <laughs> so terms and conditions agree it takes a few minutes as you guys can see but it's very important that you follow this step by step uh we got a crazy time right here at 10 53 53 but don't worry because like i'm not doing any gimmicks or anything like that it's just because it hasn't really connected to a network to actually get my location and everything and get the correct time zone because right now is actually 253 just if you're following up uh with the beginning of the video now express settings hit ok continue then continue to keep it up to date uh, and then we're pretty much done as you guys can see it just got the time correctly now so 254 so uh again just to make sure that i'm not doing anything here to try to trick you uh apple pay we're gonna set up it later as well just to gain some time set up later screen time as well we can share with uh developers continue continue <laughs> we are almost done here continue 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 and now some tips we don't need that and then we have finally finished okay so our iphone is back and as you guys can see it's pretty much blank remember when i first showed you in the intro that i slided to the right and then i had ton of apps i don't have that anymore as i showed you it's gonna clear everything but we can recover everything later just re-download all your apps and the most important thing of course is to go to the settings and check how is our other category this is the moment of truth so we're gonna scroll down to general we're gonna scroll to iphone storage and of course we're gonna clear a ton of the storage because we don't have apps anything like that so the storage is gonna be very very much clear but that's not the point the point is to scroll down and take a look at other and as you guys can see it went down from 2 point something gig gigs to 900 megabytes have a look 900 megabytes of course we're not gonna clear a hundred percent because a little bit of that storage is still necessary uh because uh, the ios needs a little bit of that background 
uh, uh, files and cache and everything like that. So we can't clear 100%. But if you have 20 gigs and you can come back to 900, that's amazing. I had 2.60 something as you saw, and now I've got 900. So then it's gonna be the same with you. You're gonna pretty much clear the whole thing. You're gonna be sub one gig of storage taken up by the other category. And again, the point of this video is especially for those people who have a ton of gigs and then reducing to 900 megabytes or something like that. It could be even lower depending on your iPhone model. It's just gonna be a game changer to you. And of course, we're gonna get our reminders back or notes back and everything back like that if we go down here to um, I Apple ID and iCloud that very same uh, uh, screen just make sure to enable everything here if something isn't so make sure to enable every single thing here and then uh, make sure everything is on and then everything is gonna start downloading automatically on your iPhone and then just go to the App Store and start redownloading all your apps and then your iPhone is gonna look exactly like it used to look but with a ton of storage from that clear section so that's pretty much it guys hope you enjoyed it and if you liked it please make sure to hit the subscribe button the like button and the comment box and let me know your feedback about this tutorial hope this really helps you out guys and i'll see you later bye bye